if you play Siamese Mahjong and you have an opportunity to play in a tournament, you might be interested in this exercise. I call this Siamese Sprints. If you're new to Siamese Mahjong, or maybe you're new to Mahjong, or you're an intermediate player and you want to improve your game, consider subscribing to my channel and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some Siamese sprints. When you play in a tournament, you're on a timer and you have to make decisions quickly. So to help build your confidence in decision making, I think this exercise will really help. My goal as an advanced player is to make decisions in under two minutes. If you're a beginner, I think under four minutes, and if you're an intermediate player, under three minutes. For this exercise, let's say we're the dealer. In this case, we'll take 28 random tiles. We'll do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. Let's get started. Look at all these flowers. Four flowers. Whenever I get four flowers, I think about lucky 13. Lucky 13, let's just put these ones up here for a minute. If we have nine, four, one, three, no, that's the wrong one. Nine, four, one, there, nine, four, one, three lucky 13 here then up here we could play winds and dragons winds and dragons boy these ones maybe even a quint okay let's see here's a three though one three maybe a little odds hand as an option a one three five hand as an option okay I'm gonna lap it so I would play lucky 13 down here we have a little gap here we need a three dot and then of course we would need a four dot or a nine dot uh, and maybe some jokers would be really helpful and then up here I think a little odds hand or maybe a quint if we could draw in more dragons white dragon maybe some more wins if we got in more ones we could even play north and south with ones so I would probably hold the wins I would start by throwing these away but little odds or maybe a quint here if you would do something different with these tiles let me know but i think that's how i would play this one out okay let's do the next one sprint two All right, I'm seeing consecutive three, four, five, six, three, four, five, ooh, three, four, three, four, wow, three, four with dragons, maybe. 
then up here six seven five six seven eight joker bait okay lap so this is how i would play this five six seven eight consecutive this would be the second hand down under consecutive run then here i would play three four consecutive dragon hand third from the bottom four flowers three four pair of dragons we need a flower here a four bam here and then that pair right there as an option i would hold the two because the two and these dragons because we could play two three four with opposite dragons two three four we'd have to get rid of two of these threes though so i think that that would be probably a lesser option but i would hold them i would try to hold, do this concealed because of all these jokers but that's how i would do this this would be joker bait hold these get rid of these first five six seven eight this would be really slim there would have to be a lot of good drawing for this to work but this hand is pretty solid i think maybe hold the five three four five if if there were four cracks in here we could do three four five with four pairs in the middle that would be the second from the bottom under consecutive run so i'd probably hold that too but i think still this is the strongest option get rid of those first okay we'll do it one more time if you would do something different with these write random pull two and then what you would do differently for this sprint these dragons I'm thinking seven eight seven eight nine maybe seven eight nine down here let's just see seven eight nine oops seven eight nine or eight nine six seven eight nine six seven eight nine down here six seven eight nine maybe if i had to pick a hand six seven eight nine but i would still hold all the six seven eight nines then up here i think i would do like numbers with fives so i lapped it So that would leave eight dis about maybe more like i don't know that would probably be more like nine or ten discards with joker bait if we did like numbers with fives and then the dragons here we'd probably need these jokers for these dragons and then six seven eight nine this would be the second hand down under consecutive run we could also do seven eight seven eight nine that would be the fourth hand down under consecutive run i would hold all of these there's also a seven eight nine pair hand in which case i would hold on oh there we go we need that six seven eight nine 
So we would have six, probably eight discards with Joker bait. If you would do something different for this particular sprint, right, sprint three, sprint three, and what you would do differently with these tiles. Let's see how things went with timing. The goal is two minutes for advanced players, for intermediate players, three minutes, and for beginners, four minutes. So sprint one, two minutes, one second. Sprint two, one minute, 38. And then sprint three was two minutes and 16 seconds. So I think I made it by maybe 15 seconds, 13 seconds, something like that. If you have a set at home, try Siamese Sprints and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new strategies or maybe pick up on an insight into the game that will give you an advantage at the table, especially in a tournament. Between now and the next set of sprints for Siamese Mahjong using American style rules, may all your picks be keepers.